Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with the C back with another video. I got a package in the mail. Now normally at this point in the video I say I got a package in the mail and I hold a box up or a parcel. But in that, this instance that isn't the case. I received this parcel probably maybe three or even four weeks ago now. And because of my work pattern and, and different things, you know, family life and whatever, I just knew I wasn't going to be able to record a video as soon as I got the package and I was just desperate to look into it. Um, this package comes from Ken, from Ken's Death Metal Crypt. Ken Escobedo, he, um, oh, Ken's just a huge, huge part of the underground death metal scene. He is a contributor to all sorts of uh, projects and bands and Designs and all sorts. I'm sure the tape dealer, yeah, the tape dealer book that Jurgen sent me not long ago, is um, is had something to do with that. Because if if you watch Ken's channel, you know what a what a massive collector of um, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s death metal demos. Um, everything that he must have picked up during that period, he, he's kept and he, he's he's probably got the greatest collection of early 90s late 80s death metal demos records everything the guy's just brilliant he's just a fountain of knowledge he cost me a bastard fortune because every time i see one of his videos i see some on there um, you know and it, it's not always albums that are readily available um in the mainstream if you will a lot of these are sort of band camp and, and direct from bands but He's a real advocate for, for new bands, as well as the old stuff that he collects. He's, he's just a fabulous, fabulous man, and very humble. He's a real, real gentleman. Um, and recently he um, organised, or helped organise, an online like festival, the Crypt Fest it was called, um, with four bands. And it was, it was just fabulous. Um, there was a few hundred people turned out to watch it and, and all the bands involved it was just great it was just it was just a real he, he's doing like the old school thing but nowadays and it's just fabulous to say and I've, I've got nothing but admiration for ken so uh, thank you very much for this parcel ken and um, like i say i i said that i was going to open it on camera I couldn't wait, I just couldn't wait, I couldn't wait to get into it and when I show you what it is you'll understand why I couldn't wait to get into it because it's just brilliant, it is just right up my street, everything that I'm loving about death metal and the underground and just the style of music is in this package, it's just fucking marvellous. Right, let's start off, three CDs, three cassettes in it and I'll start off with a band from Sweden and we have got Disrupted and their 2020 release, Pure Death. Says it all. Now what I love about this cover, I don't know if you can see it on this cassette if it, if it focuses in, but across the top there you've got four um, knobs. I was gonna say volume controls, but they're not all volume controls. The, the sort of level, level knobs of the um, good old HM2 buzzsaw guitar pedal that's what this band are all about from sweden the i do have this on cd i bought this on cd but to have it on cassette is just fabulous there's the j card this band are old school swedish death metal sound but the, the tone is just so unbelievably thick there's the cassette just so thick it's so heavy it's probably one of the heaviest um hm2 sounds that, I, that i've that i've heard in an album it's absolutely fabulous just real real good old school swedish death metal sounding band um, pure death fabulous absolutely brilliant now this band i was not aware of um, this is released on caustic cassettes made in Canada um, from Illinois and this is the only release this band did now this is do God 
and their demo, The Other Gods. Now, apparently this is their only release. Now, look at that for an old school cassette. It's only got the printing on one side, the sticking on one side. Um, there's the logo for the band and the guys in the band there. I believe two of them have passed away, unfortunately, now. But this was recorded in August of 1992. And like I say, it's their only release. Um, and I've got no idea why. I don't know if they recorded this and then um, just disbanded. I really don't know. But this is um, really, really great um, old school death metal. I mean, I say old school, it was recorded in 92, so it's, it's just death metal. But, you know, it, it's in 92, it's one of the, uh, the, early, the early sort of bands doing it. I don't remember hearing this band back in the day. Uh, but four tracks of just really competent, solid, um, riffy death metal. Um, obviously, you've got some vocals, uh, a real nice sort of raw um, DIY sound to it, but, but, but also really quite well produced for a demo from 92. A lot better than um, my band's demo, anyway. They knew what they were doing. That's Do God. Fabulous start. Love discovering new music. Um, and we have got next off a band from LA. Um, I own their album, Chapters of Depravity, released on Blood Harvest and Rotted Life. Doomy death metal of the filthiest kind. Um, yeah, just, just really incorporates sort of all sorts of different styles of old school death metal. Um, doomy, doominess, you know, in there. And Ken kindly sent me this is like um, a promo 2021 Putrid Vaticanation by Pestilent Death. Just two tracks. There's a cassette. White shell, black prints on it. Uh, the one new song. And the other song, um, Profanation, is an incantation cover. That's inside of the J card. Like I say, doomy death metal old school. Um, you know, if this song is a promo and it's going to be showing what they are going to be doing on their next album, it's much of the same of uh, Chapters of Depravity. Um, just... You know what, I, I like bands, oh, it's on the Rotted Life label, I like bands that, they know what they're doing. Don't be wrong, I like bands that are progressing, are trying different styles and wanting to do, um, have a progression in their style. But I also like bands that are just are good at what they do, and they know they're good at what they do, and they do what they do really well. Pestilent Death, Putrid Vaticanation. Right, put that there. So also in here, before I show you the three CDs, he sent me all sorts of little bits and bobs as well in the package of Vrenth uh, patch there. We've got a little um, Carnal Ruin badge, another old school sort of Swedish death metal sounding band, who I don't actually own anything by, but I need to uh, sort that out. A couple of Dismal Fate stickers. Some of these, if I get duplicates, I will pass some of these on to, to other people in VCLTs that I send. Frozen Screams, imprint sticker, Ruin sticker. I love, I love some of these because they're great for my uh, my guitar case is just covered in stickers. A Vrenth sticker there, super bit of artwork. We've got Sewer Rot, a great underground um, death metal label from America. Well, again, look at that artwork, that's going to look great on my guitar case. We've got Soul Development sticker. We've got a leprotic limb. I don't know about that one. Or the Soul Development. I think that, that's a band. I, I'm presuming this is a band. Um, I, I talk about my, my videos being deep into the underground, but you know, Ken's on another level. Ken's just he just his knowledge of the underground is just 
second to none. A couple of flyers for Dismal Fate Records, uh, Necrophagia, is, Necrophagia album there, Tenebra. Um, what else we got there? I don't even know what that label is, I can't even read that label. Nightmare. Nightmare imagery, I think that says. These are all great things though, you know, it's like, like I say uh, before, Ken's really sort of got that old school eth ethics of, of the tape trading scene, but bringing it to sort of modern day um, levels. And I can remember back in the day, mate of mine was a massive, massive tape trader and the stuff that he used to get flyers. And I've still got a few of the old ones, some old original burrs and promo flyers and um, My Dying Bride and maybe I should sell them at some point. Might be of interest to, to some people. Uh, a little Skull Maggot uh, promo there as well. Is that a compilation? Head split. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, okay, that's a Skull Maggot. Oh, it's Maggot Stomp I'm thinking of, isn't it? Yeah, but the logo's dead, dead similar. Skull Maggot's a band especially with fans of Barnes here, a cannibal corpse. Well, that's gonna probably cost me some money now, Ken. Thanks very much, mate. <laughs> um, and a couple of posters. And again, I love the sort of old schoolness of this because like I say, back in the day when you were tape trading, you did things like this. You sent posters and bits out of magazines to each other. Um, bass player from Exhumed. Johnny from Unleashed and uh, deceased just fabulous this old package just had that real old school feel so it's just just amazing and he also sent me a letter i won't uh, but i won't read it out but you can see uh, the logo there ken he signed it he's just um, he's just basically a fucking just genuinely genuinely nice fella um yeah brilliant thanks ken Okay, right, three CDs to show you. The first CDs by a band, for, again from America, and these featured on his Crypt Fest recently. They were the first band on, Exorgerate, they are called. I had heard of them before um, Crypt Fest, but I'd never heard them. And they came out, and they had all the lights turned down, and they just, they were just brilliant. Great band to open up. It was the darkness of the stage just fitted the music perfectly i mean this album chasm of rapturous delirium says it all this band are just um i know it's a word used a lot in in sort of new death metal but cavernous it's, it's, it is a good word that's why it's used a lot but real cavernous deep dark riffs like um blasting drums but also quite nicely structured riffs over those drums, you know, so it never gets too chaotic and little sort of breakdowns where it's slow and doomy. Just brilliant. Uh, I'm a big fan. Um, on Crypt Fest was Exorgerate. They were followed by Writhing Shadows, which I desperately need to get something by then. Um, they were followed by Phobophilic, who I have recently bought um, their EP after watching Crypt Fest and uh, last band on was Wolf Lurch um, and yeah, I've, I've been looking to pick up one of their CDs as well so I'll be showing those in the um, future video but um, Exorgerate Chasm of Rapturous Delirium just brilliant, fabulous um, okay next up and when I saw this when I pulled this out of the box out of the jiffy bag I was just like oh brilliant because this one well, this one I'm going to show you and the next one I'm going to show you I've been on my want list for a while and trying to find them over in the UK for a reasonable price is quite difficult because they're on American labels um, but this is um, from California Dipigus and their album Death Ooze I picked up um, their other one Bush Meat I want to I want to say it's called, yeah, I'm just pretty sure it is. Um, and this is on 
Caligari record. Oh, exaggerate. What's that on? That's on. Oh God. Shameless Grave Records. I hope I'm saying that right. I can hardly see that. I don't think that's going to focus in. But anyway, I'm sure that's Shameless Grave. I'll leave links to all these bands below so you can uh, check them out. Yeah, Dipagus on Caligari record. This is awesome, awesome, filthy, swampy, horrible. You know, it, it's like skin crawlingly evil death metal. I, um, in one of my previous videos, I talked about this and kind of said it was like watching a stuff movie. And it is, you know, a snuff movie when it, <clears throat> people being murdered, people being... It's got that real... Um, you're kind of watching it and you've got that morbid, morbid curiosity to continue watching it, even if it's kind of making you think, well, this music kind of d does that same thing. You're like, listen, you're kind of waiting and thinking, oh, what, what's going to come next? And I don't know if you remember, years ago there was a famous phone call that was recorded where a woman rang the police screaming that her pet chimpanzee was killing a friend and spoke about how it was it was ripping her face off and all these things well that phone calls on this album um, and it just really sets the tone it's quite sort of um, disturbing and gruesome but you know the bands that i listened to growing up and getting into the the cannibal corpses and the the evil sort of death metal bands, they would have never, never got away with doing that then. And it, if they would have, they, you know, they tried it with the artwork, they tried to make that quite in your face and gruesome and shocking. And I, I, like, the, I like the fact that these bands are kind of continuing that shock factor. You know, I suppose the world's a bit more um, open-minded, that's not the word, is it? A bit more... Um, Things, aren't as sh things that were shocking in the 90s aren't as shocking now, so I suppose they've got to take it up a little level. Um, but yeah, just, just a brilliant, brilliant album. I, lo I love this band. Look at that artwork as well. That's so cool. Look at that logo. It's just brilliant. Absolutely love it. Dipigus, Death Ooze. And last but certainly not least, and this is the band that's playing in the background, and this is another band from Illinois. This is a one-man project. Um, the gentleman's name is Dylan Jones, and this is the band Rotted, and the album Pestilent Tomb. This was released on Maggot Stomp. Again, all mixed up with that Skull Maggot, wasn't that? Uh, Maggot Stomp Records. I know there's a few distributors in England that will carry Maggot Stomp uh, stock. But this released in 2018, originally, this is a 2020 repress, repress, and I missed the boat on it, and trying to look for it and find it was just impossible, unless I was just going to pay a stupid amount of money, and I, I, you know, I know I'm a collector and I want things for my collection, but I'm, I'm not, I'm only going to pay what I think is the right amount of money, you know, um, so to get this, Ken, Thank you so much, mate. Just, it was so high up on my want list, you won't believe it. Um, and our very own Ken appears on this album. Additional backing vocals performed by Ken Escobedo. Just brilliant. This is, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is death metal, how I want it to be played. It is just awesome I, I i love i love death metal all sorts of death metal i love the blasting the riffy the tremolo picking but for me you know like um bands like obituary and bolt thrower that play that you know the, the album's heavy not because of any other reason just the riffs you know i mean there's nothing to that in the background now
it just says it all. I just want to turn it up louder, but I know if I do, you won't be able to hear me. Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. But um, yeah, Rotted Pestilent Tomb, just if you're a fan of obituary, bolt thrower, ace fix, that kind of more. It does have its moments, don't get me wrong, where it, where it speeds up, but if you're into that more slow paced, it's just. Burr, 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 like that, it makes you do that face. Oh, here we go. Listen now. Maybe I should just do that in my videos. Maybe I should just set, hold it up, explain who it is, and then just leave it for 30 seconds to play because it does the perfect job, doesn't it? You can hear it for yourself. But like I say, I'll leave links to all these bands um, below. Check them out. Um, wow, unbelievable. Like I say, what I'm listening to now and where my head is in the music I'm listening to, just what an awesome VCLT. Um, I don't need to tell any of you people to check Ken's channel out. You know exactly who Ken is. One of the most um, dynamic and vibrant VC uh, members just really um, enthusiastic I just love I just love his um, his enthusiasm and his drive to to help um, death metal especially the underground so um, thank you very much Ken really appreciate it and thank you to every one of you for watching as always 21 minutes we're in I appreciate your time um, and until I speak to you again look after yourselves everybody bye for now